Hey guys, Friendly Neighborhood Wargaming Painter here, and in this video I'll be painting one of the Ravenwing Black Knights, as requested by Reaper Knight 121. Now I've primed the model using Rustoleum's Painter's Touch Flat Black Primer. And then I'll be putting on a base coat of Abaddon Black. Now I'm going to dry brush the whole model in ashen gray. Now the reason why I like using a dry brush over the edge highlights is because I'll get a softer highlight from the dry brush and it's not as tedious as going around the whole model doing edge highlights. And this is what the end results of the dry brush will look like. With the dry brush done, I'm going to go ahead and start my process of painting by color. Using lead belcher, I'm going to go around and pick out all the parts that I want to be metal. With all the metal painted, I'm going to be switching to Celestial Gray and uh, Prep Base with all the areas that I want done in white. I'll also be doing this in two coats. After the two coats of Celestial Grey, I'll be switching to Balthazar Gold and doing the, uh, got the edges of the wings. And I'm doing it this way just so I can wash only once. With all the steel and gray done, I'll be going over all of it in a wash of non oil.
After the wash dries, I'll be highlighting all the gray areas in white scar, and I'll be doing this in two coats. With that done, I'll be moving on to the plasma talons, and I'll be using two coats of Mephiston Red for the you know, casing. Now a little bit of McCrag Blue for the plasma coils. A quick wash of Trackenhoff Nightshade. And finally, a light feathering of Calgar Blue. With that being finished, I'll be using Everlyn Sunset on the headlamp. And again, I'll be using two coats of this. Now I'm going to carefully go over the headlamp guard in Lead Belcher. Now because of some bad camera angles, I'm going to try and show you how to do the front crest of the marine, or how I do it. I'll be starting off with two layers of Zandri dust. A quick splash of Seraphim Sempei. And ending it in a quick highlight of Oop Shakti Bone. Just a little, little edge highlight. And for the eyes, a dab of Caliban Green, Warp Strong Glow, 
and finally moot green. And with a little bit of touch up, it looks like this. Now I'm going to switch back to uh, Valsasar Gold just to get the little icons in the Plasma Talon before I do a little touch up and some uh, Mon oil. A quick wash of Agrixip Shade on the handle of the hammer. And just a splash of Mon oil on the icons on the Plasma Talon. And then with my small brush, I'm going to be using a little bit of Mon oil to tidy up those. Uh, separations in the feathers. A quick edge highlight in Gehenna's gold on the wings and the hood ornament. Now I normally don't edge highlight uh, my inventory guys. I'll save it for characters or vehicles just because it helps uh, define the model a little bit better. And it also does define your inventory guys more to but uh, for the sake of time and I just don't feel like spending that much time doing all the edge highlights I normally don't but uh, for this I will just to show what it can do for the model and I'll be edge highlighting in Mechanicus standard gray and I'm really only choosing to edge highlight the most defined edges so I'll get like the peaks on the bike and then uh, the ends of the legs and shoulder guards and that sort of thing. Thanks again for watching guys, if you like what you see then don't forget to follow and subscribe and more content will follow when I get more time. Until then, thanks again and catch you later.